So you made it. Welcome to the hunting grounds. My name is Avina. I'm the caretaker of the grounds. I make sure they're kept fit for training against machines, whether they be used by our soldiers or our Utaru neighbors. Same as the Karja, then. Ah, yes. We've heard those cowards claim the idea of hunting grounds as their own, but our soldiers have been training in places like this since before the clan wars. I'm willing to bet our trials are beyond anything the Karja would dare face. A skilled hunter like you might actually find them challenging. Rewarding, too. Win our trials and you'll earn stripes. That, in turn, will garner you some medals. Remnants of our victory against the Karja during the Red Raids. You can take medals to the arena at the Grove, our capital. Its keepers will let you exchange them for the finest weapons and gear our tribe has to offer. I'll keep that in mind. I should probably also mention our carver. They make pieces for a popular game of ours. Watching the machines at the grounds gives them inspiration. You mean strike? You know of it. And maybe you should check out their wares. Carvers almost always have extra pieces to trade for the right resources. I should get going then. I have other grounds to inspect, but rest assured they will be open to you. Walk with the ten. Are these your hunting grounds? They are. Try a challenge, and we'll see if you live up to your reputation. Just slide down a rope to start. I look forward to seeing you compete. I can grab this from my stash later. I'm so 
<laughs> I see you live up to the stories, Outlander. Jump down with the ropes, and we'll begin the trial. Ammo could help here. Four more. This is for you. Go down the rope and I'll start timing the trial. for the stash. <laughs> You've got you should be proud of yourself. The grounds will be dull without you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Save those smiles for your families. The Tanakh understand only strength, and ours was a poor display at best. They will be back. You, the one who actually won this fight for us. A word. I want everyone fortifying the pass. Ah, your warriors seem... Green as early spring. There are children playing with sticks. It's all I can do to keep them alive. It'll only get harder. So far, the rebels have sent mere scouts. But it won't be long till they return for an all-out assault. And if they bring machines with them, we'll need a lot more than eager hearts to win. You seem to know a lot about Tanakh's tactics. Back when the Tanakh clans pushed back the Karja raiders, I joined the fight. The Tanakh taught you how to fight? More than that. They taught me how to work with metal. I'm probably the only Utoro who can. Never thought I'd be using what I learned then to fight against them now. We may speak freely here. So, what's the plan? The plan was making new weapons for my so-called fighters. I sent my best climber, Voss, up the drum route to get the materials we need. Wide mauls leave metal pods we use for crafting at its summit. But the derangement has made them as dangerous as the climb to reach them. Voss has yet to return. We have defenses to set up, and we are running out of time. If the savior of Meridian is willing to lend us her strength a little longer, I believe you can get us what we need. You know who I am. Red hair, bow, fights better than ten warriors put together. You're well known. And so is your little disagreement with the chorus. Can't Plainsong help? Plainsong has abandoned all settlements this far out. Then why not just leave? They're clearly outnumbered and under-equipped. We could leave. Head to safety. Have you ever seen a flower so small and white? When it falls, it looks like snow in spring. My daughter called them Winter Song. She carried their seeds to the day she drew her last breath. Now those seeds grow in the grove at the heart of River Hem, planted by my own hands. As do the ones of every brother and sister taken from us during the Red Raids. We, I, will not abandon them. You know Zo? <laughs> I knew the warrior who led the bravest of my tribe against the Karja. But the Zo that came back from the route spends too much time dwelling on things that just had to be done. I'm not one for regrets. I'm sorry about your daughter. The raids took her from me. I found my peace in every carja that fell beneath my spear. Now all I have left of her is planted in the grove here. No Tanakh will force me out. Do all Utaru carry seeds with them? We are given our pouches soon after we're born. When we die, the seeds are buried. A reminder that our deaths bring new life. It is how we remain one with the rhythm of the world. What makes the path up to the drum route so dangerous? It's a cave of sunken passages and gaping caverns that only the very skilled can navigate. It serves as a safe haven for my people, but machines have patrolled its deepest passageways ever since the derangement. Even so, River Hem and the Grove live off its waters. We are connected to it as much as we are to the seeds growing behind you. I don't think I caught your name. Q. I am the metal weaver of River Hem. But all you really need to know about me is that I plan to keep my people alive. 
Thanks to you, we might actually have a chance at that. Tell me more about these metal pots. They are tricky to collect. The Wide Maws sow them. One must be quick enough to gather them before the soil and water take them. But their metal is among the sturdiest I've ever weaved. Without them, our chances of survival are slim. Oh, if there's no convincing you to leave, I guess we're making some weapons. You have my thanks. There's no time to waste. Follow me. This way. With those paws and a whole lot of luck, we just might get out of this alive. Let's hope these sprouts can hold their ground against a squad of machines. I can only cover so much ground and my joints aren't what they used to be. Look to me like they chose to stay here as much as you did. It'll be the fight of their lives, that's for sure. Almost there. This is the best we can do to hide those who cannot fight. But if we fall, the Tanakh will find them sooner than later. We're here. This is it. Do you have any questions? I'm ready. Good luck. Come see me at the forge when you're done. And your drizzle. Almost over. I'd avoid the fields, visitor. Unless you wish to do the top. Guess I better start finding my way up to the top. Take a seat pouch to queue. Okay, not good enough. I'm not going to eat right through that now.
almost there. Made it. Time to find those wide moths. This will be in my stash when I need it. There they are. Those pods they're rejecting. They must be the ones Q needs. Looks like I can just pick them up once they fall to the ground. If I'm quiet enough, I can get them without the machines ever knowing I'm here. out there. Back to Q with these. Huh? 
I got what you needed. Not a moment too soon. Did you find Voss? I brought his seed pouch back. I pray it'll be the last I bury. But now I need to get the weapons ready. Let's hope it'll be enough. It'll have to be. Everyone, stay behind cover until I give the signal. Utaru! Forever him! Utaru! Forever him! Forever him! Forever him! Here she comes! Closer is dead! How you like this? This is our home! Guess these young ones knew how to aim after all. Even so, we owe you this victory, Huntress. It wasn't my strategy or craft that got us here, Q. I just brought in some parts. Even so, I want you to have this. It did good by my people. It'll do good by you. I'll take good care of it. Be safe out there. to breathe in the air around the vital plants, stranger. Another day, yes. I must be a ghost out here.
Careful, Outlander. These fields are wroth with blight. Good, you're a mother again. The first bloom of the winter song. I can feel the heaviness of my years fade away just by looking at them. They're beautiful. It was good to see the young ones fight for this place. I'll be damned if those sprouts didn't hold their own, strong as the roots of a proud tree. Just don't tell them I said that. Your secret's safe. Now, I better make sure our newly victorious warriors don't injure themselves while celebrating. Is this a training pit? It is. Sounds like you've been to one of the other clan's capitals. I'm Lirake. I run this training pit for the Desert Clan. Only a few Outlanders have ever made it out this far west. But from what I've heard, you're a pretty good fighter. Anyway, if you've been to another clan's training pit, then you must know the drill. Same rules apply here. You can train or take on a challenge. Only your spear and a practice bow are allowed in the pit. Complete all of my challenges, and you can spar with me. And when I beat you, I'll earn a mark? If, and yes. A token of victory to present to the Enduring. Who is this Enduring, exactly? All I've heard is that they're the best trainer amongst the Tanakh. Earn three marks, then you'll see. Combine single attacks, you can also chain combinations. Try it with this one. Just need a rib from that thing. <laughs> Here's something different. I want you to practice using aerial slash to chain into an aerial shot. I don't have enough charger horns for Della and Boomer now. Just need a rib from that <laughs> thing we're talking about. Skill! Yep. Very skilled! You have learned! Now! You delivered that well! <laughs> now that is an attack! <laughs> All right! I yield! That was a good fight. Pretty sure I'll have a bruise to remember it by. Here, a mark is promised. Thanks. One down, I guess. Go to the training pits in the Bulwark and Thornmarsh. Earn their marks, then you can challenge the Enduring. Few have ever done so, but I think you might have a shot. And if you want to train more or take on another challenge, let me know. The pit will always welcome you. That's enough practice for now. Strike true as the ten. You wanted to speak to me? The name's Zalka. Have you heard from up north? From Bleeding Mark? I'm guessing that's a place. One of the desert's villages. They send their yield of ash blood so the Vareka over there can mark the skin of our soldiers. But it's been a long time since the last supply run. Too long. If you think something happened to them, can't you send someone to go check? Were it up to me. But the capital's already dealing with machines, storms, and strict water rations. No one can be spared. You mentioned the village up north sends some supplies to the capital. Ashblood? It's a crimson stone that we grind into powder for our ink. 
Bleeding Mark has the largest supply. Our soldiers there gather and deliver it to us, in exchange for their water rations. Die for water. Everyone in the clan depends on the wound in the sand for their water. Capital and outlying village alike. But the last delivery of Ashblood was weeks ago. Our supply is running low. So must be their water. My face paint will strike fear in your enemies. Take a look. If I'm out that way, I can look in on the village, find out what's the delay. You have my thanks. Head north to a ruin where the desert meets the mountains. That's Bleeding Mark. Ask for Kentok or Natika there. They'll know what's going on. My blade fights with you. Attacking the grove? Is a that was wings holding up. It's strange, I might trade for something good. this away for later. from a recent storm. I wonder if anyone made it out. Best check around the shore. Uh. 
Can anyone hear us? <laughs> Where are you? We're trapped in this tower. Flood blocked the way we came in. There's a ladder at the top, but we can't reach it. Okay, I'll find a way to get to you. I need to get to the ladder at the top of the building. Maybe there's a way to cross over from the broken one next to it. I can get it for my stash later. There's a ladder on the other building. I can make that jump. It looks like it's stuck. Maybe I can use my weight to make it drop? <laughs> no! That was our only way out! Everyone okay? You're not one of us. Sorry. Yes. We took shelter in here when a mudslide swept through the village, but debris blocked the passage we came in through. That ladder was our only way out, but we couldn't reach it from here. Don't worry. I'll find us another way out of here. Do you know what happened to the others? Before we ran in here, I thought I saw a few of our comrades climbing up a watchtower on the north side, near the grotto. I'll look into it. Can you make it to the shore from here? If you find us a way out, we'll make it. Okay. Sit tight, for now. To do it? Okay! You should have a way out! Thanks! We'll head to the shore in a moment. Okay. Better find this watchtower on the north end. There are more survivors on that overlook. Must be where Natika is. Is he all right? Uh, he will be. <sighs> there. But what about the others? Let me worry about that. Rest now. I'm Natika. You're a long way from the east, Outlander. You're Natika. So this must be Bleeding Mark. What's left of it? How do you know this place? The Inker's Apprentice and Scalding Spear told me to find you. He was worried something happened to your supply caravan. Well, as you can see, we have more important problems than delivering ash blood. What happened here? The last storm caused a deluge that brought down half of the mountain. The mudslide barreled right through the village. I hear we have you to thank for getting these soldiers to safety. But there are others still missing, and I need to keep watch here. Then I'll take another look around. If I find anyone else, I'll send them your way. Much appreciated. And... If you see an older soldier, grim-faced, goes by Kentok, uh, tell him... 
Tell him I'm here. Just need a rib from that fang horn you're talking about. Figure something out. I need to find a way for the Tanox to get down from the cliff. That big crane could help. If I can get it into the right position, I could make a bridge for them. <laughs> that level's blocking the base of the crane. Maybe I can clear it if I pull that beam out. Underwater, maybe. My focus can help me search. Crane's in place. the beam from here. I have to get up higher. There we go! Oh, damn it. Arm's stuck on something. I better climb up and take a look. Touch those cables. The arms should drop the rest of the way. This thing's about to drop! Watch out! We're clear! Blood of the Ten! How'd you manage to do that? I don't know how you did it, but thanks for the rescue. Is everyone okay? His legs snapped against some debris as we were making a run for it, but he'll live. How'd you get stuck up here? A mudslide tore through the village in the last storm. This ledge was just above the flood when we got to it. But by the time everything calmed down, the water had receded, leaving us stranded. And we couldn't leave a fellow soldier behind. Can you make it to the shore from here? Natika's there, tending to the wounded. Natika. Thank the ten. We'll head for her location. She'll know what we should do next. If you're looking for survivors, I thought I heard shouting on the north end by the grotto. You might want to check there. Thanks. I'll look into it. Do I have any fire ammo on me?
Crush him with the boulders! Shoot the support beam! Those boulders. Break the support beam, crush the machines. Safe it's not now. We're coming down. It's always good to have extra. Is everyone okay? Better now, without snap maws prowling around. You sure know how to fight. Have you seen Kentok? Natika asked me to keep an eye out for him. Last I saw him was before the mudslide hit. Okay. Head for the shore, on the other side of the village. Natika's there with the other survivors. Will do. Thanks again. Sweat. Rest now. Aloy, thanks to you, these soldiers are safe. But where's Kentok? I didn't see anyone who matched his description. Do you know where he was when the storm hit? I was the last one to see him, just before. I told him I wanted to leave this place to pledge my blade to the Chief's Guard, but he refused to discharge me from the squad. All Tanakh are stubborn fighters, but Kentok is more so than most. So I walked out. I was coming back from the opposite ridge when I saw the mudslide. You were coming back to make amends. I must find him. If anyone can survive such a storm, it's him. You said Kentok is your squad leader? I've trained under him ever since I was assigned to a squad. He's tough as a shell snapper, unforgiving as the desert. But my blade is quicker, deadlier because of him. And he taught me to fight for duty, not just glory. To serve something greater than yourself. Yes, and yet he wants me to be tethered to this place, rather than fulfilling a greater purpose with the Chief's Guard. You said you wanted to pledge your blade to the Chief's Guard. Is that what the Marshals are? No. The Marshals travel the breadth of the clan lands, enacting Chief Hikaru's will. The Guard remains at the Grove to defend it and the Chief. But like the Marshals, only a handful are chosen for such an honor. So why did Kentok not want you to go? He claimed that the greater honor was to serve my squad and clan. But all we do here is gather supplies for ink. How can that compare to guarding the Grove? The Chief himself? 
So a mudslide did all this? Must have been quite a storm. We've had more and more of them over the last few years. Torrential rain, lightning strikes, winds that rattle the metal towers. But this last one was the worst yet. This area used to be as arid as the rest of the desert. The storms have changed all that. But for all this water, we still rely on the capital for our supply. Why is that? This water is poisoned by ash blood, undrinkable as machine oil. The Inker's apprentice in Scalding Spear mentioned you exchange ash blood for water. It's the way of the desert, where other villages hunt for food or machine parts to trade with the capital. We collect rocks. Important rocks. The clan relies on ash blood to mark their skin. How can they record their glories without our supply? I can take another look around the village. Where did you last see? Natika. I'm here. Where's Kentok? Did he make it? We're going to find him. He saved me. Pushed me out of the way as everything collapsed. But then the flood took him. Towards the gouge. The gouge? It's an ancient passage that leads deep underground. Come. I'll show you. Natika. We need orders. We're exposed out here. Only half of us can hold a blade if machines come. What do you want us to do? Go. The gouge is in the hillside, northwest of here. I'll catch up when I can. What are we going to do now? Let's get a couple soldiers posted as lookouts to start. Understood. <laughs> the gouge. Looks like an old mine. There's a lot of debris blocking the entrance. Maybe Kentuck got swept in there during the flood. I'm gonna have to clear some of it to get inside. leads. Take it easy. You must be Kentok. Oh. I was an outlander, no my name. Natika sent me to find you. The soldier you saved told us you were swept away by the mudslide. And so, he made it. Good. And... Natika. She came back? Yeah. She was on her way back to talk to you when the mudslide happened. She's looking after the survivors now. <sighs> it was my mistake to deny her discharge. A soldier is supposed to sacrifice for the good of the tribe. Looking back now, she was right. I didn't want to let her go. The Chief's Guard will gain an invaluable soldier. At least after all this, I won't be in the way anymore. I can tell you know a fatal wound when you see one. My service to my clan is done. So... Leave me. No. You're not going to die down here. There has to be a way to get you out. There isn't. I tried to climb out, but it's no use. The walls are too slick. Water's coming in. From the surface? But not from where I came in. There must be another source. And if I find it, and open it up... You might not be able to move, Kentok, but I think there might be a way to move you. 
Hey. Hey. I need you to stay awake. I'm gonna take a look around. <laughs> You're just like Natika. Relentless as a fireclaw. And you should be used to it. Just sit tight. I'm going to get you out of here. The waterfall must be coming from somewhere. I need to get higher up to figure out where it's coming from. source. There's some metal in that wall across the way. I'd be able to pull some of it out. I saw down below should be coming in from somewhere around here. Gotta find its source. <laughs> uh, pack's full, but my stash has room. Water's coming in from there. I can use the fire if I want to break open that wall. a way out. Almost there. Hey, stay with me. Tell Natika. You tell her yourself. She said you're a stubborn fighter, so keep fighting. only to the hand that commands it. He would say that every time we sparred. Sometimes as an insult. <laughs> Other times as a compliment. But I guess he was right. It was always my choice to stay or go. I'm sorry you didn't get to make amends. So am I. What will you do now? I'm not sure. 
Bleeding Mark has a chance to recover. And once that's done, I could join the Chief's Guard. But I have to lay him to rest first. With full soldier's honors. Aloy, wait. You saved my comrades, somehow drained the entire village. I want you to have this. Thanks. And good luck. Whatever you decide. Greenshine. Whoever made camp here must have found a large deposit. Looks like an awesome camp. Where is everyone? My focus might show me more. down through one of these structures. before Cyclops. If I can get its data, I can reconnect it with the dome back at the base. But how to get up there? Water's pouring out of that building. Poseidon's doing? I better check it out. Someone's 
been through here. Camping gear. Looks like there's something behind that tarp. I was out of. I was so close. Oh, to drowning, maybe. Not, not to the embers. M Moreland, it's over. Well, not for me, it's not. Then you're going to die alone because we're not sticking around to fish out the corpse. We're through. And so the visionary's fate hung in the balance. Would he choose life or succumb to deadly delusion? <clears throat> Hello. So, there's an ancient city under the sand. But it's flooded. Suddenly, a Nora Spear Maiden appears. Yeah, okay. Um. Well, you're not typical Delvers. That's for sure. What's this? Uh, I, I call it a diving bubble. This is the Mark I. The Mark II was better, but uh, it got stuck halfway down. Air tube snagged. You went down in that. Yeah, I hardly expect a layperson to understand. Because that's pretty smart. Uh, I'm sorry. May I remind you, you got stuck inside and nearly drowned. It'd have to be portable, though. Mm. Machine kneecap, maybe? Well, you'd need a filter. Synthetic membrane would do it. With a hose to a compressed, compressed air, air capsule. Mm. Hammer and tongs. What is this? What is happening here? What? Get over here. She's a stranger. You got a name? Aloy. Moreland. Not a stranger anymore. You're a damn fool. Come on. I got the original schematics over here. Oh, um... Well, hold on. Just a couple of questions first. Fair enough. Partner? Partner? Don't mind him. 